Hello, welcome back to another Cheapest Keepers. I just finished Batman, the title, with New Adams, but I'm not done with Batman. Next up, of course, is Brave and the Bold. I have so everything that does not have New Adams on the cover in the past few years, so all my copies. What's left are New Adams covers, and I'm keeping all of them. I have some duplicates, which I um, weed out the lower grade copy to sell later. For this run, I'm keeping the highest grade copy of each book because they're not high value, okay? If if the high grade copies are worth a lot, a lot of money, like the Batman, I may slap and sell them, but they're not very high value very underrated title and some of these books are fantastic maybe someday i will do a spotlight of the books that have the neil adams art inside they are so good very understated okay because people just talked about the covers and not every one of these books have awesome covers but i figure i might as well keep all of them because i hunt them one by one Okay, so here we have the one with Plastic Man, issue 76. It does not have Neil Adams' interior, okay? Not every single one of these books have Neil Adams' interior. So, they're not all awesome. This one is for sure 79 for those that paid attention to my channel. Yeah. You know how much I love this book, right? How can I not keep this book? On top of that, yeah, double cover, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's about at least a 9.0 as far as the interior cover. The outside is maybe an 8.0, maybe 8.5. The inside could be 9.2. Does it matter? It's in my keeper's pile. Here's another awesome cover, issue 80. I took all of these books out of the bag so that you can appreciate the beauty, the glossy, the sharpness. Look at that, look at that corner and the edges. Yeah, yeah. Here's one. Okay, okay. That one also have Neil Adams art in the inside. Issue 81. Oh. Flash and also Neil Adams interior art. Here's another one. Look at this book. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that green and there's a couple of spine ticks right there. But yeah, you know me. You you know how I roll, right? These books, all of these books were bought individually for the most part. I think only maybe two copies in this pile of keepers are from the New Scotland Ave collection, but here's another one. Oh man, Stunner. Also had Neil Adams art. Look at this gorgeous copy. Yeah. Yeah. You know I gotta keep this. Who doesn't love this one? Who does not love this one? Also have Neil Adams art. In the interior you gotta be nuts do not like this one look at that yeah extremely difficult book to find in high grade and here we go a 9-0 ish now this one here is a little homage to mr. Kubert. it is drew in his style but it is Neil Adams. Okay, it has that little, where, where is that signature or over on this side? Yeah. See that, because he even signed it the way Joe Kubert <laughs> signed his, his cover. Okay, so, yeah. It also had Neil Adams art inside. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah. I definitely need to do a video and, and spotlight the interior of some of these books because they are so beautiful inside. 
Neil Adams and Bat and and Dead Man. Dead Man and Batman, yeah. A winning combo. Gorgeous copy here. Yeah. It's I think I think it's fairly easier to find this run in high grade because maybe because not a lot of people fight over them. At least for me, I found that over the years it was fairly easy to find them and they're not too expensive. Another one? Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So that issue as well as issue 89 and 90, the three of them do not have Neil Adams work on the interior. Okay, so you get the cover. This one's decent with Phantom Stranger, not my favorite. Definitely not in the top five. Okay, but fairly high grade. I can't remember what I grade this was is, but I think I will give it a 9-2. Does it matter? It's a keeper. And 80 and 90. You get a little Adam Strange there on the cover. This one, I think it's only an 8-5. Yeah. Beautiful book. Very nice and uh, white in the interior for sure. Too bad it does not have Neil Adams' goodness inside. We're down to the last book. Yeah, last one. You ready? Yeah. You know. You know. I end this video with a bang, okay? Oh yeah, this is a gorgeous high grade. Look at the, look at the razor sharp corners and edges. Yeah, the spine, look at that. Perfection, per, per, perfection. And this one does have Mr. Adams goodness inside. And that's it, that's my pie of keepers for the brave and the bold. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.